Okay, so this is just a quick video on um, how we've 3D printed capillaries and chambers in order to rapidly prototype on biosensors. So what we're actually doing is here we have a end fill one of our sensors. So this is one of our sensors, and here we've created an end fill version. And you can see I've been testing it out with food color dye because there's a air hole and basically the liquid is wicking in here and escaping here. So we've managed to turn one of our biosensors effectively into much more of a sort of point of care diagnostic. So what we're actually doing is um, we can print fairly simple chambers. If I can get that into focus, there's actually a, despite it being yellow, there's a capillary here and there's an end hole, there's an air escape hole at the end. This is a slightly different version. This is much more of a sort of well shape. So we have a well shape. There's a hole for the liquid to flow in. There's a chamber and there's an air escape hole. This is another type of um, chamber where we effectively define the chamber and we have effectively holes where we can wick in or wick out. Now in order to um, adhere to the Zimmer and Peacock sensors um, we're using adhesive layers so what I've done is I've just I've just peeled off an adhesive layer here and now I'm going to stick this down onto the sensor so I'm just doing it quickly just to show you I'd probably do a better, better line up than this I'd, I'd align it better than this so I've stuck that on there now what I'm going to try and do is peel off I've peeled off another another backing layer and I'm now going to make the sensor by um, adhering this to there. So I'm adhering this to there and there we are. We now, once I push that down, now we've made a um, end fill sensor. Okay, simple as that. Okay, so we've assembled the end fill biosensor and I have a sort of, you know, a dyed piece of um, aqueous just so you can kind of see the colour change. And what I'll do is I'll connect this just for my ease into one of our, um, we have a range of electronics for um, for driving these kind of biosensors, so I'm just using that to hold it. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to dip down into that. And I can actually see the dark shadow um, effectively coming up that, back, up that capillary. I'm going to try and get my finger, but there's basically a dark shadow coming up here. That's it, yeah, you can see it. You can see now the food colouring is all in there. Because basically, I mean, it's it's quite clear. We've created a capillary um, through the 3D printed part. And we've created an air hole. So, you know, the liquid does want to come up and um, fill that chamber. And you can see by the food colouring that we've actually done that. Um, we've filled the chamber up. So that's how to do a... Um, hybrid biosensor medical diagnostic made from hybrid materials we'd use um, an adhesive material a 3d printed material and we've used one of our standard biosensors okay thanks very much